Hi everyone, my name is Christian and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create service requests and manage them in the support center within Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So follow me, the first step would be to go ahead and click on the help button here, then create support request. Cool, now you need to choose what type of service request you want to open from these three that are available here. So we will start with the technical support. If you have any technical issues, choose this one. For any billing issues, you will need to choose the billing support type. And last but not least, if you want to increase a service limit on your tenancy, you will need to choose this one. If you chose the limit increase, you will need to add in the primary contact details, like name and email address. Then you will need to select a service from the list of categories that you see here. For this demo, we will go with uh, compute. Then you will need to choose a type of resource. For any service in particular, you will have different op options here, of course. For this demo, we will go with cores for dense IO based on virtual machines and experimental instances. Now, depending on the region that you selected before creating a support request, you'll have multiple options here. Since we are on Frankfurt, we will need to choose a service limit for each of the availability domains available in this region. For a different region, you might have a single availability domain. You will need to choose the service limit only for that one. Right now, last but not least, we will need to also choose a reason for our request. Depending on the type of request, if it is an urgent one, you will also need to indicate the severity for this. Then just click on create support request. Okay, so now we are going to create a technical service request and we will start with a summary of our issue, which for this demo would be cannot launch resources from the main dashboard. Okay, we make sure that we don't have any typos. Then we will describe our issue as detailed as possible since we want our support engineer to comprehend this and give us you know an accurate response and we will see that when we click on create a virtual machine instance from the launch resources dashboard nothing happens which would mean this one that when we click on this window here nothing happens and you know it, it is an inconvenience now in order to finish our support request we will need to select the severity for our issue and ranging from P4 to P1, which would be the most critical, we have in P4 no loss of service, which would be like a minor error that will not impact any of the operations. Then in P3, we have the minor loss of service, an impact that is an inconvenience that may require a workaround to restore its functionality, such as the one we used on this example, right? We cannot open a create and uh, create a VM virtual machine instance from this dashboard. But again, this is not, you know, a severe loss of service or like a complete loss of service. And again, I'm pretty sure that we are able to use a workaround for this action in particular. Okay, then we have P2, which is a severe loss of service, meaning that there is no acceptable workaround. However, operations can continue in a received fashion. Okay, so it's not a complete loss of service, it does not affect our production environment or, uh, or work, it does not affect in a way that it cannot reasonably continue. Then we have P1, which is the most critical, and uh, here you'll also need to agree to the severity 1 requirements, which are the following. You will first need to provide a contact that will be available 24-7 for the support team in order to, you know, provide additional information when the support team will request. Then we will need to make sure that we meet all of the following criteria. And you will need to make sure for each of those that firstly your use of the supported programs is stopped or so severely impacted that you cannot reasonably continue work, right? Then we need to make sure that you are experiencing a complete loss of service and three, the ongoing operation of the supported program is mission critical to the business and that the situation, it is an emergency. Okay, after agreeing to this, 
you will need to check the information that uh, the support agent gathered in the background when you created the support request. For our example, for this demo, the information gathered are the tenant ID and the home region. But a quick note here, if you were to open the support window in another dashboard, for example, let's say that we go ahead in the main menu and we go in on the compute service and go to instances. If we go on such a specific product, such as a virtual machine, and if we click on the support on the help button here and click on uh, create support request, you will see more detailed information for this product. Because the support agent in the background, it is able to get the name of the resource, the OCID of the resource, meaning the unique identifier for the resource, the Oracle Cloud identifier. Each resource in Oracle Cloud has a unique OCID. Then you can also see that it gathered information such as compartment, to be the OCID of the compartment where that resource is uh, located, the data when the resource was created, the available domain where it um, resides. And for this specific product, we also have like the image of the virtual machine and the shape, also the lifecycle state. You can also see that on the right side, the documentation here changed from the one that we have from the generic dashboard. Okay, so it means that whenever we click on a, uh, on a specific product, we will also see the documentation here on the right side for that specific type. After this, you can just click on create support request and voila, you have a complete and comprehended service request that the support engineer will be happy to, to get it. All right, so in order to manage your support request, you will need to go ahead and visit the support center. We can do that by clicking on the help button here and then going ahead to visit the support center. From this support center dashboard, you are able to create a support request, have a support chat discussion with the Oracle Support Digital Assistant, or have an actual live discussion with one of our agents. You can also check the Oracle Cloud community as well as checking the OCA service status here. If you click on the view health dashboard, you are able to see all the, all the, service, uh, all the services in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. As you can see, everything is green at this, uh, at this moment and we are very happy for that, okay? Getting back to our dashboard, we can also see that we have an open service request that needs our attention, okay? Let's go ahead and click on this and view the, the ticket that we have opened. And as you can see, it is pending with customer. Here's the status of the SR. And here we have the description for our support request, as well as the support request information. So issue number, support request type, which would be like a technical support, and the date when it was opened. If you scroll uh, more, you'll see all the conversations, all the, the replies, the comments that we had with the Oracle support team. Okay, so in order to see the first comment, we need to go to the last page and check what we have here. You know, it was updated by Oracle. It was immediately after we have opened the, the service request and we have some details here. Okay, then we can see that we have another reply from Oracle. Then we reply to them and, uh, and so on. If Oracle support engineers will require more data from you, or something that you need to, to attach, like a sensitive information or information about a specific virtual machine or some, uh, some logs, you are able to attach those in, um, in the attachment section here and by clicking on upload file. Here, you can either drop or select from your computer the file that, uh, that you need. Or in case of you know, having a, a file that contains private information, I would recommend to, to check this, uh, this here. Now, in order to see other support requests that we have opened, we will go ahead and click on support requests here. And we are able to see here all of the service requests that we have opened so far. So from technical support requests to billing support requests, from uh, being able to filter by state and by status, 
we are able to see and manage all the support requests that we have opened. Before opening any service requests, I would recommend to go ahead and discuss with Oracle Support Digital Assistant or with a live agent. You can do that by going ahead and clicking on the help button and then clicking on chat with us. After this, a support chat window will appear and you will be able to enter here the question that you have. Let's say for example that we want to connect to a compute instance. Okay. We get a proper response from the Oracle Support Digital Assistant, but let's see we we not we are not looking for that, okay? We did not uh, we were not helped by that uh, that solution. We receive more alternatives, okay, depending on the um, on the situation that we're in, this can help us. But let's suppose that we were not helped by this as well. Then we have the option here in the, in the on the bottom to chat with a live agent. And if we click on it, you'll see that a support agent will be assigned immediately. It lasted like 19 seconds. So let's thank the support engi engineer. Thanks a lot. And end the, the chat session after discussing with uh, with the support engineer if our question was answered. Thank you.